In 2022, China will host the Winter Olympic Games. They'll be held against the backdrop of increasing allegations of state-authorised persecution of religious minorities. The Uyghur people are being held in concentration camps, forcibly sterilised, subjected to forced labour, torture, rape and sexual violence, and many other examples of abuse. There are now comprehensive legal analysis and opinions making a compelling case that the Chinese government is committing genocide against the Uyghur people. This cannot be ignored. There must be a red line that will compel governments around the world to act. The genocide against the Uyghur people must be that red line. This is why on June 23rd, 2021, we will be calling for a boycott of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games. This is a global day of action taking place in over 50 cities around the world. China's human rights abuses are far and wide. China has been illegally occupying Tibet since 1949 and committing gross human rights abuses in Tibet. In the past six months, several Tibetan political prisoners have been killed in custody. A young Tibetan mother of three was killed while in prison, arrested for simply contacting her family outside of Tibet. A 19-year-old Tibetan monk was killed in custody, a political prisoner jailed for calling for Tibet's freedom, now killed by Chinese authorities. Hong Kongers are being rounded up and sentenced for simply standing up for freedoms and democracy. Brave young people such as Joshua Wong and other young leaders are currently serving prison sentences for peacefully protesting against Chinese authoritarianism. China's aggression in the South China Sea against the people of Vietnam, the people of the Philippines should not be tolerated and certainly not celebrated. Chinese officials need to be held to account and that is why we are calling for a boycott of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games. While the sporting events might be seen as about politics, but there are some moral lines that we as an international community cannot cross. These games have a strong echo of a previous sporting event, the 1936 Olympics held in Nazi Germany. Despite the shame brought upon the International Olympic Committee, the IOC, because of allowing the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, as the Nazi party was persecuting Jews in Germany, the IOC now insists on the 2022 games, while Uyghurs are subjected to persecution on a massive scale. We must learn the lessons of the past and not permit ourselves to again allow a regime conducting large-scale human rights abuses to be Olympics hosts as a propaganda tool to whitewash their reputation. Here in Australia, we are often told the standard you have passed is the standard you accept, which means that if you ignore a problem, you are complicit in perpetuating the problem. Wherever you are in the world, you can take action on this day to call for Australia to boycott the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games. So today, on 23rd of June, and on going forward, let's all come together to show the world that we will not accept another Olympic Games held in China. We must boycott the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games. We must boycott the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games. We must boycott the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympic Games.